Hello my lovelies and welcome back to Sondering Tarot. Or if you're new here, hi, hello and welcome. This is your daily tarot reading for the 4th of November. Although we are going to do something different. My ancestors have actually called for an oracle deck. So I will be using the Green Witch Oracle. And we're going to go ahead and count each card as one for the sake of numerology. So let's go ahead and see what is going on for you for today. All right, my lovelies, I am back. Um, we have quite a bit of cards on the table. Uh, just a reminder, I will be counting each card as one for the sake of numerology. Uh, and these cards have a title and a keyword. So I'm gonna go ahead and read you the title and the words and then show you the cards as we go through um, and then interpret each section as um, we progress. So bear with me because uh, it's actually quite a lot. But keywords are nice. We like the keywords. Um, so for the best part of your day, we start off with persevere, security, forethought, and thrift. And I really hope my camera is focusing very well on that because this is an oracle card, so it's oversized. Pine tree, vitality, longevity, perseverance. Moss agate, positivity, change. Sage. Wisdom, purification, harmony. Lavender, tranquility, kindness, and self-care. Potion, invigoration, empowerment. Altar, gratitude, releasing burdens. Cauldron, creation, opportunity, caring. Moth, mystery, concealment, illusion. Mushroom, recycling, breaking down problems. <laughs> well, this is very much a renewal, a rebirth energy with all of this. I would not be surprised if some of you are going through a dark night of the soul, you're going through an awakening process. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if you uh, also aren't going to have some uh, downloads right now, or even an increased amplification from your spirit team new powers coming in, new abilities, new skill set, and it's really not quite new. They're just things you've learned a lot of the times in previous lives. Um, they're just new to this lifetime and you're rebirthing that skill, that ability. Why? Because your soul already knows it. Um, <laughs> and as you continue to evolve, you continue to grow, you continue to unlock, um, you know, your soul contract. Star seed activation. You're going to notice that shift. Okay. So you're either going through this process in some format or another, or the environment is exactly right for you to do this. Hence why this renewal energy is coming up in the best part of your day. Because the environment says, hey, it, it, here. <laughs> We can do this. We can do this now. <laughs> Alrighty. Give me just one second. I have to pick up um, my card mess. <laughs> Bad thing about oversized cards. They take up a lot of space on the table. Now the worst part of your day, we start off with walking staff, support, encouragement. Rosemary, remembrance, loyalty, faithfulness. Carnelian, energy, leadership, creativity. Okay. As you go through and you start to shed layers, you go through dark nights of the soul, all that uh, involvement with the soul, the growing process, um, the transformation periods, whether you're just starting or you're in a chrysalis stage, 
uh, when things become awakened and activated, it's really difficult sometimes to hold on to the positivity, to actually maintain a vibration <laughs> and energy <laughs> as you move forward it's simply because your conscious mind doesn't always remember um, how it works or where you're going. So instead, it's mystery. It's all unknown. And let's face it, human nature being what it is, if it's something that you are not familiar with, you're either going to try to kill it or run away from it. <laughs> it it's really difficult to stay in a high vibrational energy and not fear it, not run from it, and instead go, oh, what's over there? That's not what human nature does. And don't forget, you are a soul in a body. You are not a body with a soul. So having that emotional influx on your soul um, is going to waver you quite a bit. And it's really hard to get a control on that. Um, and it's probably the reason why... Even though I thought it was an oxymoron, they chose the three ships tapestry. Not only are we talking about spirituality, which this is a water-themed tapestry and it very much runs with that theme, but when you get a handle on your emotions, when you get a, a better stability and understanding about how you are uh, built, not necessarily your soul, but the vessel you're in, the body you're in, in other words, human nature itself, it's easier to maintain that higher vibration. It's easier to support yourself. It's a, it's clear how you need to support yourself. What areas where you're going to have severe pitfalls that you gotta prop yourself up more or maybe perhaps have something else as a, a placeholder so you don't fear. And fear is a big one. Doubt is another. Because when you fear and when you're uncertain, the negativity takes over. The lower vibration takes over. The ego mind takes over. And that stems your growth. That's a roadblock. That's an obstacle in itself. In which case you can end up having to detour quite a bit if you get off track. And I find that funny because we literally started off on the worst part of our day with the walking stick. Walking sticks usually are an aid to help support you while you walk, um, to help keep you on your path. Ha ha ha, I can't say that my ancestors don't have a sense of humor. <laughs> they do, they do. Sarcastic, but yes, they do have a sense of humor, very much so. Um, what can I say? I had to get it somewhere. All right, um, and we're going to move on to our obstacle or how to get over our obstacle. We start off with butterfly, transformation, joy, beauty, transcendence. Bird, freedom, opportunity. Earthworm, clarity, rumination. Sun, healing energy, happiness, comfort, joy. Mortar and pestle, integration, stability, thoughtfulness, salt, protection, banishing negativity, snow, rest, contemplation, soil, stability, simplicity, mint, abundance, persistence, proliferation, rain, cleansing, purification, hydration. Chamomile, gentleness, relaxation, sleep. Hedge, potential, boundaries, indecision. <laughs> okay. I mentioned this before, whether you're going through um, the early stages of a transformation or you're in the chrysalis stage you always have to remind yourself that that is an opportunity for growth and yes that does come with growing pains but freedom in some format is on the other side on the other side of that transformation 
And, th and this is what you really need to tell yourself. What you need to understand, get clear on, is that instead of fearing the unknown, realize you're, it's, it's a thing to celebrate. It's something to be happy for. Um, you know, you're healing yourself. You are freeing yourself. You're getting rid of ties. You're getting rid of boundaries. You're getting rid of limitations. Um, you're accessing more information. You're getting to higher elevation when it comes to frequencies. And yes, that does come with added perks, but also drawbacks. And that fear and doubt part tends to take over, especially if you don't know exactly in detail what's on the other um, side. But the whole process is to integrate new things while also subtracting things that no longer serve you. So it is a banishing. It is a form of protection as well. It does both. And yes, there there is periods where um, you're going to have to contemplate and understand that to realize that you're trying to bring stability to yourself throughout this process. And being as grounded as you can while it happens is the most beneficial uh, for you. But all you have to do is really just keep on going. Keep on going. Purification. You have to purify yourself more. But the whole process in a way is a purification and a cleansing all on its own. Because the best way to do a transformation is to cut things out, but also to add things in that are more positive, that do serve you, that are for your highest good at the same time. Out with the old, in with the new. It's a new version of yourself. Rebirth. Hey, remember I said from the beginning of the reading this was a rebirth, renewal energy? There you go. But as much as it can be tiring, and yes, it is great to have more sleep while you go through this process, uh, please remember to be gentle with yourself. It's not going to happen overnight. <laughs> remember, um, when it comes to creating new potentials, in other words, having a new you, that renewal, rebirth energy, it does take time. And all you're doing is actually giving yourself the best potential you can have if you go through with the process. If you let fear or doubt take over, you halt the process. You don't want to stop the process. You don't want to waste the potential. You, you also probably don't want to over fuss with the potential, the parameters. When you start resisting so much of a natural process through fear or doubt, you know, the, that detour I talked about with the walking staff that's supposed to help keep you on your path, <laughs> you'll end up with a completely different result, in which case you might have to end up throwing yourself back into this process all over again because the transformation, the transmutation that was going on was interrupted, in which case it just draws it out longer. It's more stuff to sort through because we're not getting the clear, concise information, the vision that we once had. Our understanding of the process will be different if that happens, rumination. But the more we understand of what's happening and why, and how best to handle it, as well as our own necessities through the process, the quicker this goes, the easier it is. Yeah, remember, uh, you'll just heal yourself, you'll get through it a lot faster, but maintain that high vibration card, or not card, uh, high vibrational energy. Um, the card is a sun card, um, just like the sun and the tarot. It's happiness, it's joy, it's high frequency energy. Okay, I don't think there's anything else I need to address right here. So... I'm going to go ahead and pick up my mess. Remember, I did count each card as one for the sake of numerology. There is 25 cards on the table. Um, so that ultimately reduces to seven, which in my current um, uh, numerology chart is 
what spirit spirituality um, collecting data having a clear understanding having a clear vision trusting the process but also knowing the process is the best thing for you there's freedom on the other side it has a purpose it serves a purpose don't interrupt it mm, okay we're going to toggle over to the astrology because then we'll see what this is uh, sun and scorpio trying saturn and pisces get more done with discipline productive energy focus on what you want to achieve and be resourceful yeah don't interrupt a process keep on going don't overthink it don't fear it don't overthink it don't doubt it go with it your intuition will probably tell you that that is very much the direction you need to go into even if the you know human reaction for you is to fear or doubt it your intuition should tell you it's the right thing to do the necessary thing to do hmm okay well I'm gonna go ahead and leave this here uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of off the beat of our normal uh, reading and if it does resonate, by all means, give me a thumbs up. If it does not, no worries. It is a general reading after all. So please take what resonates. Leave the rest. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.